most massacres of people were done by people who drink. They were supposed to be watching these prisoners and they have stories of them they would get drunk and then go in and then massacre people. So the most horrific crimes are done by people who drink. Why? Because they lose their God-given ability just to understand and say, this is wrong. And that's all the shaitan wants, he wants to enter into their bloodstream, bloodstream, enter into their hearts and overtake their ability to answer correctly, to think correctly. So what you eat, what you breathe, what you drink is going to affect the blood. So drink pure so your blood is, is, is being purified by water. You don't drink spirits, that's why al-ghul, it's al-ghul which is a demon. When you put those spirits what happens? The spirit and the demon goes into the blood. Well that's very bad for your heart because every time that demon enters into the heart is attacking the heart. And making the heart to be attacked it's no longer going to be anything related to Allah's house. So these are all of spiritual reality. So somebody say, what if I drink something and then I go to prayer sober again these are the dunya particle people talking. Say, no, go back to the malakut, what's happening in the world of light? When you bring this contaminant and shaitan into the blood system, he's entering straight into the heart and attacking the heart. So how then your heart which is your Kaaba going to be the house of Allah It won't be. And you brought a filth inside the heart, not even around the heart, into the heart. And then all your organs which are a defense mechanism for your entire being to defend you against satanic attack which is your liver. Then where does Al-Ghul go next? He goes into your liver to attack your defense system. So if he knocks out your defense mechanism he allows all the shaitans to come. So it's like one guy gets into the castle, kills some main people, opens the castle gate and says, come on in and now all the shaitans have entered in. And that's the understanding, that's why they call it a gateway. They call it a gateway drug. What does that gateway mean? It means that one comes in, takes out the guards, opens the gate, oh now the shaitans come rolling in. So this is only from the understanding of malakut and the world of light. That these things, there's things are happening in the world of light with these shayateens and energy, positive, negative energies. Right? So if there are these marada, if the, the evil jinns and ifrit, if you can see them they'll attack you and torment you. So one of the greatest gifts of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is Allah veiled His creation. So don't destroy that veil by drugs, alcohol and psychotic, those are under drugs too and, and asking for it to be taken away. So the greatest gift Allah gave is the gift of a veil over your eyes. So why shaitan then has these people drinking and doing drugs? Because the effect on the drug is hitting something within their system, in their mind that lowers the veil and they start to see what they're not supposed to see. If you ever read articles on DT, del delirious, delirious tremor, what is it called when the alcoholics? They have a, a sickness called DT, delirious tremors. And literally when you read the articles on what they see when they're sort of alcoholics and they detox is exactly like you're talking about a jinn movie. So yeah, yeah, this is the jinn world tormenting this person. So in the teachings these issues of trying to open, maybe we go do ayahuanda, maybe you go do DMT, maybe you don't do these things, don't open and pierce these veils because you've not trained yourself for Allah to open the heart and open your spirituality. Because if they see that you see them they can torment all of your faculties. Imagine all day long it's looking at you at night just coming and just looking at you. The fact that you saw it, it saw you and now it's all over your senses, the person goes mad and, and loses their ability to function. So the greatest gift Allah gave is the gift of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and that He veils the servant. We don't seek out crazy narcotics to make you to see things 
because you're gonna pierce a, ve a veil that's just horrific, horrific. And that's all the shaitan wants. That's why shaitan is encouraging these servants to do these things so that they go mad and he destroys them. So one by one he takes out the army of the heavens. The army of the heavens are insan and human beings and that they should reach to their reality and have the power of a thousand men on earth. Drug and alcohol addiction, there are places to go for that so that you have a support group and that's a bit more complicated based on your location and who you are hanging out with and all of the different things that are around you in your life. That requires for you to go to a group and to find an AA meeting and to be a part of a community of people who want to clean themselves and sober up inshaAllah.